Welcome to part two of Bushcraft Joinery. Last time, in our first video, we did the basic log over log lap joint, uh, you know, with no custom cutting of the logs or anything, just hooking them together. Now we're going to up our game a notch. We're going with the sim what I call the simple lap joint. In the simple lap joint, what you want to do is you want to place your logs where you want to have them when you're done, and then you take something to mark with. I'm using a pencil in this case, and I'm marking on either side of the log so that now I have the width of this log marked on the bottom log. Once you do that, you take your bush saw and you cut halfway through the log. So let's mark that so that we can find it. Now obviously in the bush you'll be using your bush saw, but here at the shop where I'm demonstrating this, I'm just using the sawzall for the sake of time and expedience, but either way it works. Next you need to remove this piece of wood. Now when you're in the bush, oftentimes all you've got to work with is your knife. So you can take your knife and you can drive it in here with a with a uh, using a, another a stick as a mallet because you don't want to use a hammer on your good knife and that will pop this loose especially if you have a good knife like my k-bar however I'm a firm believer in always using the best tools you have at your disposal at the time and what I've got at my disposal today is a wood chisel and a hammer so we're going to remove this piece just like this. Next, you want to cut, make a similar cut on your other log, now that it's the right width. So we flip this over, and we set it over the log that we want to hook it to and we make our corresponding marks. You can also use something that scratches the wood. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close and you have to have, make sure you have enough room. So there we go, a couple of pretty good marks. So now we'll take our saw and we'll cut this one. After you've cut the notches in both of your logs, it's time to fit, dry fit them together. They should fit right together like that. Now they're not real tight, but they do hold. So you want to get them together like this, and, and obviously the closer the tolerances you get, the tighter this grips. But this is, like I said, not the best, it's just better than nothing. So now we drill this, uh, this hole with the two logs together so that the hole lines up. Okay, now that you've got your notches cut and your holes drilled, now it's time to put your piece of all thread through. It's good to, if you're using all thread, to start your nut because when you drive this one through, you're likely to booger up your starting threads. And you certainly don't want to do that and then try to get a nut on it. You can already see this one's a lot sturdier than the other one. And once again, you can use any kind of, you know, lashing you want. You can use cordage, you can use a bolt like I'm using, or you can use bark cordage, however you want to do this. But it doesn't change the fact that now you've got a much larger section of, you know, flat areas that are together in here. And those grip on each other, plus, even though that isn't enough to stop all racking, it is going to run into the sides here, depending on how tight you make it. The tighter you make it, the, the better that's going to be. But you're not just relying on your cordage or your bolt or whatever you use to hook the two logs together in order for it to hold. This is a little more stable than just attaching two logs together with uh, with cordage and this gives you a little added strength 
So in our next video, we're going to get a little more technical and a little more precise. It's going to involve a few more tools, but it's an even better joint. See you next time.